Oh man. What's caused all this mess? I wonder if it's that leaky sprinkler right there. Only one way to find out. Stay tuned, folks. Thanks for watching. So I have a beautiful apple tree that has a nice giant root going right into the back side of my sprinkler. I wonder if he's the culprit of why the sprinkler's leaning. I'll bet you he's twisting the bottom of that sprinkler. We'll have to see though. So we've removed the sprinkler and I don't know if you can see the water flowing in there. There's a little bit of water. You can see it kind of pool in there in the middle. And it's slowly, slowly, slowly filling up this hole. The sprinkler was more than likely fine. What this means is we probably have a leaky valve in our valve box. The valve is not completely sealing shut when the zone's closed. And it's allowing water to pass by the valve and into this particular zone and this sprinkler being the lowest spot in the yard is acting like a drain so we can replace the sprinkler all we want which we'll do anyway but it's not going to solve the problem we're going to need to go and uh, take a look in the valve box all right we're to the valve box in the yard we're going to open this up earwigs in there we probably got like spooky ass spiders in those webs oh yeah this is a tree oh yeah look at him right there where is he where is he? oh there he is look at all the fun stuff we get to play with inside this valve box how to get rid of spiders and creepy crawlies in one easy step It's time to figure out which valve is bad. Is it the one with the giant creepy spider? Dum dum dum. Or is it this one? Or is it this one? How do you figure out? Well, I'm going to show you how you figure it out. <laughs> so, these are the solenoids that are on top. That's what has these wires going in. You can grab these solenoids and you can turn them counterclockwise like unscrewing a light bulb and you'll hear water starting to seep through. And in a minute I'll push that valve open. <laughs> Says who? Now the sprinkler has come on. So we got it in our first guess. This is a sure sign that you've got the right valve open. So now we're going to close this valve. Listen, you can hear it snap shut once the valve shuts. We're just going to screw this in like you'd screw in a light bulb. You hear that? Now the valve's closed. Now there shouldn't be any water leaking past. So you have two things on these um, sprinkler valves. You have your solenoid, which is controlled electronically. There's a little uh, electromagnet in there, and when the circuit closes, meaning that the circuit's powered, it magnetizes a spring in there, and there's a little um, pin, and the pin pops up, which allows water to um, sneak past a little portal, which opens the whole valve up. This is not our problem. The problem that we're having is actually the gasket that's inside this valve right here. So we got to pull the top of this um, valve apart and get to the gasket that's below. There's a diaphragm and that's what I'm meaning when I'm talking about a gasket. 
that's what's failing. That's why water's leaking past the system. If you had an issue where um, your uh, sprinkler wasn't coming on, you know, all the other zones come on, this zone comes on, this zone comes on, but this one doesn't come on, you would have a solenoid issue. That means that this is not getting information that it needs to open the valve, but that's not the case here. Once the system is turned off at the end of the night and it's watered the yard, I've still got water seeping out of that sprinkler and that's because this diaphragm inside this valve has gone bad. So we're going to pull this apart. Super easy job. The part's like $4. Um, so I'll show you how we do that. Okay. <laughs> first thing first, you have to go to the water main and shut off the water main. So before you turn off your main water valve, make sure you have a, a good wife that slows you down and tells you, shouldn't we uh, water the garden before you shut off all the water to the yard? It's an easy fix, shouldn't take us long, but it's not a perfect world. It may end up taking us longer because we can't get the part. So it's good to water your garden that your wife has slaved over all summer long. It's good to water it so you don't lose your crops. Water helps. Water helps. It's always good to know where your water main is for your house as well as your yard. There's always fun little creatures hiding inside here too. You're never short of anything spooky inside of these boxes. And spiders, and snails, earwigs, gooey gooey creatures, UFOs. So, if your handle is running parallel with the pipe, it's open. God, this is a stiff one. When it's 90 degrees, it's closed. So now the system's shut off. You may ask and say, I thought I heard sprinklers running in the background after you closed that valve. You did. They're my neighbors. We can undo this solenoid. You just unscrew it like a light bulb. Now if the water was on, you would have a jet stream of water coming out of here. That is the weirdest solenoid I've ever seen. I've never seen a solenoid quite like that. Maybe because I can unscrew this other part off of there, which I'm not gonna do. But usually you have a little metal piece with a spring and that's what opens and closes that. We're going to set that off to the side. Can you rebuild it or whatever while it's still in the box? Um, yes. Oh, that's cool. Yes, it's very cool. Sometimes some? I've rebuilt them and it doesn't work, so I've had to end up replacing the dang thing anyway. This is the diaphragm that I was talking about. Sometimes you can just clean these up, but this is what kind of vacuums open and vacuums shut to completely turn your water off. And I have never ran into this particular design, so that's kind of interesting. So we will go and pull this apart and clean it up. Break out your big wrench set. You're gonna need your six millimeter for this. You can't see it because I painted it. We're gonna pull this little itty bitty screw off. Oh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> 